What's up YouTube, Teth the Gamer here and today we're going to be talking about how you as a survivor can beat the nurse. Honestly, I'm probably going to regret recording this video. Okay, tip number one for versing the nurse is spread out. Nurse is really good at slugging survivors and I mean really good. If you're all in the one place against a nurse, say at the start of the game when you all spawn on that one gen and you're just like, heck yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna gen rush this killer, all four of us are gonna be on this gen getting it done so quick, that is a massive mistake when you're versing nurse. You do not want the nurse to find you all on that gen and immediately start slugging with her massive slugging potential because that is game over right there. Same thing goes if someone gets hooked and you are nearby, you're gonna wanna wait for the nurse to blink away quite some distance before unhooking because nurse can just as quickly turn around and blink straight back at you and get the grab or immediately down you after the unhook or down the hook survivor if you don't have borrowed time. So make sure that you are spreading out across the map. Of course the nurse cannot slug you if you're not all together and the nurse cannot stop the gen progress if each survivor is on a different gen. Honestly four survivors on four different gens is the best way to gen rush. Tip number two is to hold W against the nurse. The nurse is incredibly slow moving across the map you might think that with all that blinking she'd be really good at map pressure but that is incorrect she is really bad the nurse is incredibly slow with her walking speed and every time she blinks she has to go into fatigue this means that if you hold W across the map, you might get one or two loops of the map in before she can even catch up to you again leading to the gens being done a lot quicker by your teammates Next, you're going to want to use line of sight blockers. Line of sight blockers are basically any sort of loop or wall or any object on the map that prevents the nurse from seeing you. These are good against nurse because the nurse is one of two things. She's either reactive or predictive. If you're versing a reactive nurse, of course, they are going to be a little bit more difficult to use line of sight blockers against. But a predictive nurse is really good really bad at versing line of sight blockers. Basically what this means is that the nurse is trying to predict where you're going and she's going to blink there ahead of you. If you use a line of sight blocker and mix up the direction that you're going in each time, this becomes incredibly difficult, especially on maps like Larry's, which are 90% line of sight blockers, with multiple directions that you can run off in. If she tries to predict your blink, she is going to lose you pretty damn quick, especially if you have Iron Will, Lightweight, Dance With Me, any sort of getaway perk that keeps your trail hidden and your sounds down. Next up, we have maps with complicated blinking areas. Larry's, of course, line of sight blockers is one of those maps, but more specifically, maps with blink dead zones or buildings that are hard to blink onto are great against Nurse. For example, there used to be a blink dead zone on Almond where you couldn't blink onto the outside balcony of the building as Nurse. This meant that you had to either blink up inside and then walk out onto the balcony or just let the survivor get away. Of course, don't abuse these blink dead zones, but if you want to quickly run through them, then that is a good way to lose the nurse. Like I said, that blink dead zone was from before, it doesn't exist anymore, but there are still others in the game. Of course, different buildings are not blink dead zones, but are incredibly annoying to blink onto as nurse, such as on Dead Dog Saloon, where the double story building balconies can be a bit of a pain in the ass. That being said, I wouldn't use those buildings too often because they are actually really good for the nurse if she's on top of them, blinking down at you as you fall because she has plenty of time to charge her blink whilst you're in the air. Next up is a little bit of a nurse secret and that is that you can actually flashlight burn the nurse and prevent her from blinking using a flashlight. So these are two different things. The first being if the nurse is charging her blink and holding her blink up charged, you can shine a flashlight on her and burn her. The second one is that if the nurse has yet to put her hand up and charge, if you shine a flashlight on her, she can't even charge her blink at all. She is stuck walking in place. I would use these two tips cautiously though as a survivor main. The first tip, the light burn against nurse. I as a nurse main have only been light burned once in my entire nurse career and this is because it is incredibly difficult to do. It takes quite a while to light burn the nurse. She would have to be standing there with her hand charged for quite some time before she actually gets burned and in my situation I actually let the survivor burn me. I did this because I was on the game on the second story and I had already fully charged my blink and didn't want to end up downstairs so instead I just said okay you're trying to light burn me? Go ahead. The other one where you are shining a flashlight on the nurse to prevent her from blinking, this is great if you are healthy 
and you were trying to prevent the nurse from getting to your teammate who is injured and trying to run away. But I would not suggest doing this if you yourself are injured because she can still walk at you and hit you. I would suggest just running away if you're injured. The last tip is for those very skilled survivors who know how to moonwalk. I myself am not a very good moonwalker, so I've never pulled this juke off. But the moonwalk juke against the nurse is actually really good, and it looks pretty sick. Basically, as the nurse is blinking at you, you go into a moonwalk, making it look like you've turned around to run back at her, but instead you move in the opposite direction. By doing this, you are essentially faking a double back, and the nurse will blink short and swing at a closer location to her than where you actually are. Alright, those are all of my tips for you survivor mains for versing nurse. Those are basically nurse's weaknesses in a nutshell, and I really hope you guys don't use those against me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to comment down below what your favourite tip was, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bing bong to get notified every single time I post a video. I will catch you all next time.